What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show today. So many things happening, but first, we want to say thanks. Thank you to the movie. I mean, the fittest is out. It's finally here, and there's a lot of support, and we really appreciate it, all of you. We don't need to be hyped about it, because you guys have already done that for us. We are the number one movie in the United Kingdom, number one movie in Denmark, number two in Spain, number seven on the overall charts here in America. We are completely blown away and grateful to you guys for your support. But enough about that. What's happening on the show named Mark? How old are uh, We're going to call up Chief Keith, check Keith. in with him. He's got a big thing in the works. So Who else? We got Matthew Frazier. The champ. And then we're going to do a little workout against our buddy Tommy Marquette. He's got a long arm. He's going to lose. Pull the footage. What's going on? What All right, people, here? so check this out. We're gonna make our own homemade butter today. This is heavy whipping cream, and I think it's as simple as putting it in something, and shaking it up, and then you got butter. So I'm gonna put the challenge out to all you people. If you're gonna do this, take a video of it, tag us, and we'll make a little compilation of this going into next week. We're just gonna shake cream until butter comes out. I got cold heavy whipping cream. That's all you really need here, according to the recipe. So I'm gonna put a cup in there, and I'm gonna put it in this protein shaker. Two mice fell into a vat of cream. One of those mice gave up quickly and drowned. The other mice churned that cream to butter and crawled out. Lid goes on and I guess we just shake for 20 minutes. Cue the shaking buttermilk making montage. Oh, all right, okay. all right, so I'm, I'm coming up on about 15, 20 minutes. At first, it seemed like there was no hope in sight because it just felt like a bunch of air. But as you can see, it's starting to get a little chunky in there. I mean, we got a, still got a lot of cream, but like, oh, look at that. That's butter. Churned. Churned. We're going to call O'Keefe, and then we're going to make cakes afterwards. Oh, what's up, oh, there, what's Chief? What's up, there, Chief? Doctor. What's going on? How are you doing, boy? We're doing good. I got on my shoulder. Oh, look, look at that backdrop. poster. Yeah, I like oh, that yeah, backdrop. That backdrop's look. beautiful. This is heavy whipping cream that I'm shaking into my own homemade butter. Butter. Oh, stirring your own butter? I'm churning yeah. my own butter. We're yeah. churning, dude. We're, we're churning. We're going to make pancakes after this. There's definitely a couple butter balls, you know? Let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. I got three little butter chunks, baby. All right, well, hey, let's jump into why you're so busy. What is it you're actually doing? Over the last, oof, I don't know. 10 days, we've just been looking at ways that we can help the community, affiliates, gyms, people, you know, be a little delusional and let's change the world. Like, let's literally get people to move um, when they're stuck in their house. I think I've told everybody that I've spoken to, like, hey, I, I don't know that at any time in history that I can find that people have been unified like they are right now. And sadly enough, it's not necessarily a positive unification. It's that we're all stuck in our house because there's shit going on. You know, we can be a bright light in that darkness and because we as CrossFitters, people who like to fitness on the daily, um, we'll find any way to do it anywhere, anyhow, right? So let's teach people how to do that. And then in the process, raise some money. Um, and, you know, I think we can have a pro profound effect on millions and millions and millions of people. There's 8 billion people in the world. Why would we just think about ourselves in this micro community? Um, I think what we should be looking at and what we're going to do collectively with this movement, United In Movement, is how can we uh, bring what we do to them. Last week we were spoiled with this. Now we're here. Each week we'll cook on a different thing. <laughs> I don't know that that's true, yeah. but this week we are. There's people building shoes around this. There's people donating hundreds of thousands of dollars in product. Like we're going to raise millions of dollars and we're going to raise millions of people's spirits. And uh, to me, um, you know, there isn't many times in life that we've all been able to look at something and say like, we really can affect uh, the world. You know, we can change the world in, in a positive manner and we're going to do it. All right, here we go. I'm going with Lehigh Mills. We did something else last week. We're going local, local only, supporting local companies and businesses. Everybody's struggling. Let's keep it going. You just exploded all over your lens cap, dude. You've done a lot of churning today, huh? Yeah, keep churning that. 
the name of your new th- initiative is called United by Movement, right? United in Movement, in- U-I-M, unitedinmovement.org. United in Movement is the Instagram handle. Uh, it's independent, it's agnostic. It's all about a bunch of people getting together to do the right thing for you know people in need and, and raising some money. Very cool. So how do the workouts work? How is it going to be released? How long is it going on? We're going to do um, daily workout releases on, at 6 p.m. Eastern every night. We'll go live. So the first launch is 24 hours, 8 o'clock Eastern, Friday night, April 3rd, into 8 o'clock Eastern, Saturday night, April 4th. We'll go a full 24 straight hours live on YouTube. Just a real plethora of contributions, strong men, you know, conversations, actors, like you name it. Like we're just going to really impress the world with like who really likes to work out, right? Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Chief. Thanks, Chief. Good luck with everything. Chief. 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 Hey, boys. And congrats on all the success with the film. Uh, proud of you guys. Love you to death. I appreciate you guys supporting us. Uh, um, uh, you guys are the best. So uh, I can't wait to, to, to talk some more this week. We can get you guys super involved. In okay. Sounds good, man. Yeah, We're looking excited. forward to it, man. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. All right. Peace. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. What are you excited about? To put our own homemade butter on these, you know what I mean? <laughs> have, yeah, it's good. Have you, have you ever? Never. Never have I ever. Oh. It's gone limp. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. Yeah. That's the butter we made. I mean, that is that is butter. Yeah. Uh, we got real syrup this time, not keto. I want you to just take, like, okay, now just put that in your mouth. Really? Yeah, I want you to just eat butter. No, the whole thing. Don't, don't half-ass it. It's good. Let's go. We could use a little salt. Who's buying the unsalted butter? Yeah, I saw unsalted potato that's all, chips. That's all I could find at the grocery store yesterday. It's a, it's a pandemic. I can't find any salted butter. Make butter spread joy, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs>It's already better than last week's. I mean, if the trigger had a window and I could tell with the bubbles and the butter really sets it off, I'm gonna say that's 8.8. 8.8 on the pancake? Yeah, that might be a little high. 8.5, it's a good mix. You know what time it is? (gasps) Rob a bitch, Rob a bitch. Fly with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky. Hi, say hi, he's in there too. Ride with me if you ride with me. You've only eaten one pancake. Yeah, 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 I did a full one. That's enough for the song. Okay, no syrup, just lots of butter Wait, right now. Wait, you know syrup? Okay, 7-2. Seven, 7-2? Two. Seven, two. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to take it to the next level, this shit right here. That's from the people up north, the Canadians. You think it is? No. No, that's, that's stateside. Yeah, that's from Illinois. Not even Vermont. Cue the classical music, because we're going to eat proper. 7-8. Seven, 7-8. Eight. Seven, eight. Yeah, definitely the butter is decent. It needs some salt. So if you're making the butter at home, maybe add a little bit of salt, you know, but it'll still work. It's, you know, basically lube. What's up, people? We went to the park because we're tired of working out in the same place every day. So we're here. We got a workout from CompTran. We stole it from Benny Bird. She does TED Talks. The workout is two, four, six, eight, ten. It goes up by twos, whatever. And then in between each set, you do 20 double unders. Six minutes of dumbbell lunges, double unders. Two minute rest, then six minutes of dumbbell snatches going up by twos, double unders. Me versus Tommy versus Marsden, let's go. Hey, I've heard there's gonna be some workout data powered by Whoop. We'll get to it in a minute. What's up, dude? What's up, guys? What's up, what's up, what's up? Nice shirt. Yeah, dude, I got dressed up. It's casual Fridays, what's up? It's Saturday. No, it, we filmed this on Friday, you ignorant piece of shit. Tommy's in a hoodie, I can't even see him. What's he wearing? Camel cakes. Camel cakes. What's that in the background? Is that the number one movie in the United Kingdom right now? <laughs> yeah, you know, just some just some light, light nonfiction. Okay, people, so we put the challenge out to Tommy as well. So he did the workout. We're reporting back in to see how he did. Long arm. How, how did we do, go? Tommy? Tell me about it. All right, so first workout got finished the round of 16. They got three lunges. Oh, two's done in three seconds. And I had a hard time finding my rhythm on double unders actually. 
You. Yeah. Yeah, you're the you're the double under master. Low low ceiling. Hey, go get it, dude. Good depth. Good lunge. Ah. So I got through my round of 16 on the on the lunges and got 10 double unders. So I didn't quite finish my round of 16. Hi, honey. Oh, beautiful day. Nice to get out. Ah, remember going places? A 20 plus 8. 18 yeah. plus 10. 18, 10? Yeah. Good to know. So I think I took dead last in that first part. Yeah, I was really focusing on hitting that good movement. You know what I mean? Uh, does that mean that you were just going slow in general? Yeah. That's what you say yeah. when you when you lose. You just say, I was focusing on my good movement. Because when you won at Wadapalooza, you clearly weren't w focusing on good movement yeah, at that... all. <laughs> you talk about the box roll lovers? Don't worry, you gotta do some more. You mean chalk? No. Okay. It's not a chalk place. What do you mean it's not a chalk place? It's not a chalk place. You look fantastic though. Like the white on the white. Thanks, man. You know, it matches with the clouds. Five seconds, same ref game with dumbbell snatch. No. Three, two, one. So my uh, my strain on the workout was a 6.2. What'd you boys end up with? I was a 7.2. Uh, 7.4 on the strain. My max heart rate got up to 174. And uh, my max heart rate was 170. I was a 162. So you know, maybe I wasn't going as hard. I think I got through 18, uh, the 18 snatches. Yeah, Heber used the exact opposite technique of what I did, you know? He, he, went, he went fast and, yeah. uh, <laughs> cut, and cut corners. Nope, that one didn't count. Last one didn't count, 12. Whew. Last through the round of 16 and then 12 snatches. That last 13th one didn't count. I was past the timer, but uh, yep. Seven in the 18th. Seven in the 18th? Yeah. What was that? I got three 18 dumbbells. Damn, you beat me on both of them. Well, that's two for two against me. Good job, bro. Oh. Quarantine has oh. uh, treated you kindly, obviously. You look good in them shit, those, those bifocals, man. Little. Yeah. Lil Ben Franklin was happening to be yeah. yeah. You guys, you guys both look like you've just been abandoned at home and you're giving up on life. Just hoodies. Mars <laughs> is just full posture. There's nothing underneath that. Yeah. <laughs> this is my uh, just go-to. Like I leave this. This is the one that I just put on. You know. It's the it's the it's the answer the door hoodie. Yeah, it's the answer the door hoodie. You know. I just... yeah. I've ordered some food. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be wearing when it gets here, so I just have this as a just in case. All right, yeah. this way. Well, all right, boys. All right, boys. Good catching up, Tommy. Hope you guys are well. Bye, Tommy. Bye, Tommy. See you guys. Whew. All right, everybody. Whoop data provided. Take two. I'm just out of breath. All right, everybody. Workout data powered by Whoop. What you whoop at? Whoop, whoop. New activity, new data point on the Butter Gang that I really like is you can go to your butter gang and then you can do like a weekly average. So who's recovering the best for the entire week right now? It's our girl, Brooke Austin. Screenshot that. Put it to Julie, Julie, put it up. Julie. We got all the space in the middle. Put Julie. it up here. Julie. Holy, holy, holy. But, Julie's number three on that list. Huh, what do you know about good recoveries? I, I don't ever recover well, but I must be sleeping and you know, eating clean. I mean, no. Turns, turns out if you don't travel every day, turns out if you don't, if you can sleep every night, recovery goes up. Yeah, I'm third on the list. Who would have thought? Third on the whole butter gang. I had never taken a third place. Uh, he doesn't have kids, so he doesn't know what it's like to have to wake up in the middle of the night to deal with someone that's peed their bed. Get out of bed and pee, Finley, for heaven's sakes. I poop oh. the bed sometimes. All right, that's it. Let's go talk to Matt Fraze with a little cool down go wad. So we're calling the champ. Wearing champ shoes. You're wearing champ shoes? 
Yeah, yeah man. Respect. respect. Have some respect for the champ. So we're gonna do a go wad and FaceTime Matt and talk to him about life, liberty, and the pursuit of fitness. Anything? Oh, what's up? There's the champ oh, right there, there boy. What's up, dude? Oh, what's happening? What's hey. up, dude? Oh, is it snowing there? Yeah, we yeah, got we're, snow, we're dude. We're outside snowing, in the snow. Dude. This, you know, we're in the Rockies, so. Gee. We just want to get some fresh air. We want to get out and feel feel connected to the earth, you know, during these trying times. All right, so we're gonna do a quick go wad while we ask you some questions. Marzen, let's stretch number one. Uh, what what is this one called? It's called the pigeon stretch. Pigeon stretch. I'm pigeon stretching with you right now. What are you doing in isolation? What are you doing to entertain yourself? Are you streaming lots of Netflix? Are you you training like a madman? What's happening? Yeah, so just, just like everyone else, you know, I uh, I watched all of Netflix. Um, <laughs> There's not really too much left on there that uh, that I haven't seen. But after I watched uh, The Tiger King, uh, I hated myself a little bit. I was like, all right, I just spent nine hours of my life watching <laughs> watching these people do their shenanigans. Um, so, yeah, just started reading a bunch. Um, just, are you cooking now? Are you cooking Sammy Mills? Oh, <laughs> no. So I'm still, I'm Fe- still not cooking. Right. Feeding the Monas? Um, it's three in the afternoon now. Uh, Sammy was gone when I woke up. She went out uh, hiking with a friend, and uh, I still haven't eaten yet today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, and so that now with uh, no events in the foreseeable future, are you freaking out like everybody else? But you, but I mean, I know butterfly, butterfly switch. I know that you always have a a good way of not letting the distractions distract you, and you can stay focused and not freak out too much. But what's it like? I'm ke- I'm trying to keep myself in a position physically where. If something gets announced, I'm in a good spot to uh, to ramp up the the volume and the intensity and be ready for that. Um, but other than that, it's just kind of taking it one day at a time. You know, I'm just doing my training. I'm lucky enough to have a very well equipped home gym, uh, so taking advantage of that. But in terms of like, if things go online or you know. If, this ban gets lifted or whatever. It's like when, once we have content or like concrete info, uh, then I'll go with that. Oh, what's up? Is that Sammy? Is that the Monet? Yeah. Oh, is that feeding no. the Frasers? Sammy Monet. I'll tell you what. This is not even an ad for feeding the Frasers. Your bags are a lifesaver during this time of need. When I go to the grocery store and I buy everything I can, not that Am I'm stockpiling. Right? You just get to put it right in your bag. You don't even have to touch it with a hand cart or whatever it's called. Yeah, just dump it right in my bag, and it's sturdy enough that it's not going to break in the middle of my thing. Like, those things are industrial. Oh, They're freaking awesome. So back to my question, how much uh, – oh, what's up there? How much toilet paper you guys got in that house right now? Like, we didn't stockpile any because um, we're sane humans. Um, but then it's like all the stores are just out. Um I had to have a friend from Minnesota mail me uh, toilet paper. Uh, he owns he owns a pretty big store, so he was able to order like the industrial quantity. So he had to order an entire pallet of four hundred rolls of toilet paper to his house. Wow! And then and then he uh, drop shipped us uh, a good good amount. I saw a, I saw a thing saying like if you went to toilet paper someone's house, that'd be a serious flex right now. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> I've never I've never counted yeah. a sheet of toilet paper every time I wipe more carefully like okay two you know oh my god dude <laughs> usually usually it's like I wipe like a rich man yeah. just like <laughs> like with a pillow like it's just a pillow every time and now I'm like no 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 uh, alright so I got one last stretch for us Matt but you gotta stand up I'm gonna walk you through this one you gotta stand up okay so back up a little bit from the camera so we can see you gotta go kind of a wide base Kind of like you're about to do a sumo deadlift, and then you just go like this. Yes. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The spot right there. <laughs> go on's got to add that in. Is that the newest one on Go One? Yeah, that's yeah, the newest yeah. one. It's going to be dropping next week. Yeah, you got to get the update. <laughs> well, thanks for taking our call, and uh, we'll we'll stay in touch and keep uh, your sanity. Yeah, keep your sanity, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds good, boys. Okay. All right, man. Thanks, Later. Gold. All right, guys. Have a good one. You too. That's the end of our show today, Marsden. What do we want to tell the people? Yeah. Uh, I want to tell you to, if you're going to make the butter, make sure you tag us in that because we want to see everybody giving it a good shake. Yeah, get a butter shake. Hashtag butter shake, hashtag buttery bros. I don't know. Just tag us. Let us know. Also, thank you again for making the documentary the biggest release we've ever had. We're super pumped about it. 
If you haven't yet, it's coming on more other platforms so you can get your chance to watch it soon. But until then, we out. My life resume after this is gonna be different. Don't leave anything to what if, just go.